Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to our weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 13th through the 19th. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Taurus, for this reading, I'm using the Wheel of the Year tarot deck. I'm also pulling you a Vintage Wisdom Oracle card. All right, Taurus, let's see. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the King of Cups. So for some of you, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces person um, might be significant here this week. This could be someone who is communicating with you. I do have two kings here in the spread, so maybe some of you are dealing with um, two separate men. Let's see here. For some of you Taurian males, this certainly could be your energy with the King of Cups here. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. I have the Queen of Swords. I have the Two of Cups. And then I have the Ten of Wands. So uh, I am reading for some Taurians where our relationship is, is, is weighed down at the moment. Um, something is definitely taking a toll on a relationship and so if it's not a romantic relationship it could be a friendship it could be a family relationship so some of you Torians, you might be very focused on a on a relationship here this week your partner could be stressing you out um for those of you that are in a relationship with the ten of wands we do have the queen of swords here um so for you Taurian females, that could be your energy. Um, she's definitely a more unemotional queen. And the overall energy for you, Taurus, for the week is the King of Swords. So that's very interesting. Um, so no matter if you're male or female, this is um, very serious, uh, unemotional energy. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't play games. He doesn't mess around. He will use that sword to sever ties. Um, you know, he can be a little harsh. He can be judgmental. And so, yeah, maybe something is going on with uh, a king of cups. For you Taurian females, this could be your energy. Maybe there's something going on with your partner or if it's not romantic, a friend. But a relationship is significant. Um, you might be sp speaking your truth with the King of Swords. You could be sp speaking your truth, telling someone how you feel. You could be telling someone, you know, where to go, basically, with this energy. Positive or negative, you know, he's got a strong tongue and he's very serious. He doesn't mess around. And so this is the overall energy. And communication is, is so significant here. We, we have the Eight of Wands. And I have the page of wands here in the spread. And so, yeah, communication is coming in. You could be reaching out to someone, Taurus. There could be actually a lot of communication with the eight of wands here going back and forth. Yeah, so there's something with a relationship. Also with the eight of wands, it's, it's a quicker paced energy so something could be happening suddenly you might be hearing from someone suddenly you could be reaching out to someone suddenly Taurus there could be a lot happening um if you have a legal matter that's that's significant Taurus it could be a legal decision that you're hearing maybe some of you have a like a lawsuit um, that's been ongoing and you could be hearing something you might be hearing from your attorney here this week it could be something uh, legal for some of you it might have something to do with a contract or a decision if you're waiting on a decision but here we have the fool and we have justice so this is very good because whatever this is it's liberating um, for me the fool represents many different things it, it talks about that new path that you're walking down, but it also speaks about um, feeling free and liberated. And so for some of you, this is news that's coming in that in some way is going to liberate you, Taurus. And also with justice here, 
it could be um, some sort of fairness that's coming in for you. Something that's going to bring in balance. And here with the Wheel of Fortune, it's meant to happen at this time, Taurus. This could also be your luck turning around if you were a Taurus that, you know, maybe you were dealing with some bad luck or something like that with the Wheel of Fortune. And this is some karmic energy. So something could be happening that is very much meant to happen. Some of you moving um, down a new path. Now with the King of Swords, uh, with justice here, you could be getting a divorce for those of you that were waiting on like a divorce to be final. It could be actually happening here this week because now some of you are free and you're moving forward. And you might have a potential love interest here or you're getting to know someone, maybe more this week. We, we've seen that Two of Cups, so you could be spending time with uh, maybe someone new. A, an Aquarius, a Leo, maybe a fellow Taurus, uh, a Scorpio could be significant, a Libra could be significant, a Pisces could be significant. Um, for some of you, this is on the job front. If you were waiting on a decision uh, in regards to a new job or going back to school or maybe moving up within the company that you already work for, that could be coming in. This is very positive for those of you that this is um, in regards to a job or, or something financial as well. Very positive communication that's coming in. And again, it could be happening um, when you least expect it. This could be someone who's actually being quite spontaneous. You, Taurus, could be spontaneous here this week. Uh, you could be taking a risk here. Yeah, you're, you're very focused with this King of Swords energy. Very, very focused also with that Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, completely... Um, just devoted to maybe moving down this new path, very, very focused, working very hard. And for some of you, you've been working very hard, and this is karmic rewards that, that are coming in for you. Good news, we have a blessing. We have the Ace of Cups here. So the Wheel of Fortune is a 10. We have the Fool, we have a 1 here. So this is very positive, especially if you are waiting on maybe a decision about a job. Uh, and we do have the high priestess here. We do have the high priestess here. And so listen to your intuition. Maybe some of you are making a decision. Should you move down this new path? Do you want to maybe take this job? Um, so needing to listen to your intuition. But the high priestess and the ace of cups, Taurus, this is your intuition speaking to you very much here this week. Um, maybe some of you are learning to trust yourself more. I mean, could be reading from some, some Taurians your you're a psychic, you have psychic abilities, you could actually be um, working to develop them more. But there's some good news that's coming in for you, other Taurians. We see you moving forward. Um, we see you feeling free, trying something new, maybe living in the moment. Uh, and we did see that, that Two of Cups. So for some of you, this could be a relationship healing because we had the Two of Cups and we also had the Ten of Wands. And so if you and your partner have been stressed out, um, there is an opportunity to basically mend a relationship. Others, this could be a new relationship that's, that's beginning here. It could be a new relationship that's beginning or a friendship that's beginning. Um... But maybe it got off to a rocky start. Hmm. So we do have this page of swords here. Which the page of swords, um, this could be a spy. This could be someone spying um, on you, Taurus. Most likely it's another person spying on you, Taurus. Uh, but it also can represent gossip. There might have been lies. There might have been gossip. Something was weighing down a relationship. So, or a friendship, a partnership. And so if there was um, 
maybe if there was some sort of gossip or deception, needing to speak about it, needing to communicate for some of you, that might be what's needed. Also needing to be flexible. Definitely here this week needs needing to be flexible. Let's um, pull you an additional guidance card, Taurus. Additional guidance for Taurus. And this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. It's one of my favorite decks. Taurus, what else does Taurus? Okay, transition. Very nice because this is talking about great change. So some of you are going through a great change, a transition at this time, Taurus. For me, this is like the energy of death. So um, could be something ending and then something else beginning. So if something is ending, it's just freeing up that space, Taurus. You need to make room sometimes. But this is meant to be, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is meant for you. You are going through great change. So be patient with yourself at this time. Also listen to your intuition. Very nice, Taurus. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. If you're interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttar.com. And over on Vimeo, I do have the 2020 yearly readings. That link is below if you are interested. All right, guys, have a great week.